My name is Melinda. I'm from Cap Inc. I'm sitting here with Samir Kulkarni, who is the Senior Design Engineer at SleepNet. Uh, Samir, if you just want to give us a brief uh, overview of what SleepNet is and what they do. Uh, SleepNet is a medical device uh, manufacturer. We make masks that are used in treatment of sleep apnea as well as non-invasive ventilation. The masks that we make um, are used as part of a therapy that will provide um, significant ox oxygen to the patient when they're sleeping and that affects the, the way they sleep and um, you know they, they're well rested and they just have a better um, life in general. Uh, we are a great little company. We um, design and assemble our products right here in New Hampshire. Um, so you guys have one of the Dimension Elite machines here. Um, you mentioned that when you, you first started here you actually had the 768. Right. Um, do you remember why you guys chose to um, upgrade to the Elite? Um, there were a couple of reasons. One was you can make um, better resolution parts with the Elite. You can build layers up of 7,000s now, which you know gives us that much um, uh, dimensional accuracy. Plus, the material is much stronger. So, uh, we've had um, some minor issues in the past with the uh, material maybe breaking because we do, we do use them in manufacturing tooling, mm -hmm. which might not be the average uh, use right. for those parts. But we found that th this uh, stronger material now we are really able to uh, make parts and you know uh, use them in production or also try you know use better prototypes, um, which are you know even you use some form fit function testing, um, the material ha you know, holds up a little better. Wonderful. How were you guys creating these these prototypes and these parts before? Um, I would assume that they probably would send them out for uh, to be coded by a rapid prototyping shop mm -hmm. or even a traditional machine shop. And it would uh, be a significantly long drawn process because you now have to get the code, um, get the paperwork done, then you have to w at least you know wait for two or three weeks to get something in your hand. And then you realize that well, it needs to be tweaked and we need some more samples now. Right. So um, with this machine, the, the process is the uh, you know the time frame to get something in hand is just shrunk down significantly. What would you say um, the increase of time to market is now? Are you talking days, weeks, months? Um, definitely weeks, maybe even months, um, because depending on you know how close to the actual design you are in your first step, mm -hmm. you know if something's going to require five or six iterations. So now we are talking about building something in house overnight and have it ready to be tested tomorrow, as opposed to sending out a purchase order today and getting the part in three weeks um, from today. Right, that's fantastic. Um, so we had some parts printed for you here. Um, yep. I understand, are these for the trade show that's coming up? Yeah. So that is another um, great advantage of having a 3D printer in-house, in that um, we are getting ready for the ERS, uh, the European Respiratory Show, and these are some of our, uh, these will go on some of our upcoming devices. Um, as you can see, these are very uh, you know eye-catching colors, mm. um, and the, the material, as I said, is stronger. So we can actually assemble these parts as we would assemble our production parts, and it just gives us a great advantage to actually hand over something to potential customers um, that they can um, you know hold it in their hands, they can touch, feel, or in case of a mask, they can you know put it against their face to see how it fits. Um, rather than having them look at a, a 2D picture and trying to explain them how it's going to work. Right. Um, so that is a very good advantage. That's fantastic. Uh, so working in the medical device industry um, with this Dimension machine, I know there's some specific advantages with the materials. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yep. Um, so uh, some of the newer machines uh, that have come up have biocompatible material. They can make parts out of biocompatible materials, uh, which can be a great advantage because um, you can actually do a design validation of your parts uh, in the user environment, um, you know, based on your application, uh, you might be limited in how much you can test, but it's still much better than, you know, um, uh, some traditional materials which were not tested for biocompatibility. So now, mm -hmm. for example, our masks, we might be able to, in a control environment for a few hours, try a mask um, on a patient while, um, you know, we were just not able to do that before. Um, so because of that, would you recommend these types of machines to others in your industry? Absolutely. Great. I know besides, um, you know, making these, these parts and prototypes, some people use their machine for other things, either in their tooling shop or around the office. Do you guys use your machine for anything else? Yeah. Yeah. We um, actually make some production tooling out of this material. Um, so we've found that the machines are getting more and more accurate 
and more importantly repeatable so we know that if we design a tool that works today that we can build it over and over again and we'll get repeatable results. Um, we use um, this material in building fixtures for assembly or um, UV bonding on the manufacturing floor or we can create reverse molds which we can then use to um, pour actual molds out of. Wow. So that, that's, a, that's a great advantage because it gives us flexibility. Um, we don't have to worry about certain factors like with traditional machining you you know you are limited with undercuts or sharp corners or you know hard to reach spots for the machine tool um, which with the 3d printer anything you can make in your um, in on your 3d CAD software you can build it in the printer and you know it's good to go